next talk. My name is Mo. Hi, I'm Genoa. And we're having the sex talk. The sex talk. What's happening today? So today I want to talk about being bi in a monogamous relationship. What? Yeah, what does that mean? Aren't bi people like love sex? They don't know what they want. <laughs> They're on the fence. They're nymphos. Yeah. How can they be monogamous? Aren't they always missing out on something? Yeah. <laughs> Clearly we've heard this before. <laughs> yeah, and so I wanted to talk about that because um, there's this kind of false belief that, first of all, there's a lot of false beliefs about bisexual people. People yeah. who identify as bi um, can be attracted to men or women, hence the word bi. They're attracted to two genders, mm -hmm. which is different than pansexual. Right, but people are attracted to all different types of expressions. Right. Right. Um, and so... Bis now, with today's culture, bisexuals are so simple. <laughs> <laughs> right. So this is really about, you can be pansexual, you can be bisexual, you can even identify as poly mm -hmm. and still be in a monogamous relationship. How? Yeah. How you identify does not actually have anything to do with whether or not you commit to a monogamous relationship. Because, key word, commit. Right. Monogamy is a commitment. It is a choice that you make. Mm -hmm to be with one person monogamously at that time mm -hmm. during your life. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter if you're bi, if you're gay, if you're straight, if you're poly, if you're pan, I don't care. <laughs> if you are in a relationship and you say to your partner, you know, you agree we're in a monogamous relationship. We're not gonna have sex with other people, yeah. just me and you for X amount of time. Yeah. Or forever, at the yeah. end of that. Yeah. I mean, that's it. That's it doesn't it. matter what you identify. Here's the thing, and here's a good way to think of it. Even straight people who identify as heterosexual that are in monogamous relationships cheat. <laughs> what? I know. Can you believe it? And Crazy. So basically, it's, it's kind of like a given uh -huh. that human nature has a tendency to look outside of the union. People are attracted to other people for all different reasons. Yeah. It's all these different layers. Whether or not you act on it is up to you. Right. But whether you're a straight person that is attracted to only one type of person, right. you're, you you might be attracted to that type of person all over the place. You might like pussy only. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean, I and mean, we should be asking you the same question, like how are you going to be with the same person, with the same pussy for the rest of your life? One pussy? What? There's other pussies that you like. Because you're in a committed relationship, someone chosen. that you've yeah. chosen to commit to. So here's the difference. Just, I'm going to make this really simple. So a bisexual person in a committed relationship would be looking out into the world and think, oh, I find that person sexually appealing and they're a man. I find that person sexually appealing and they're a woman. And they just don't act on it. Just like any yeah. straight person. They say, but I really love this person I that I'm with right for whatever now. Reason. And this is what I'm doing This right is now. what I'm doing right now. And I respect that agreement. I respect my partner. And I mm -hmm. respect our choice to do this together. Boom. Booyah. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Period. Booyah. Period. <laughs> so that's it, really. That's I mean, really it. everybody's kind of like basically the same and no matter who you're attracted to it's still the same kind of biological experience of sexual attraction mm -hmm. it's just whatever floats your boat yeah. and you choose to act on it or not whether right. you're straight or bisexual or pain or poly right. or fluid right. or whatever you want. Yeah, being bisexual is different than being non-monogamous because I think and I think Nymphomania. Yeah, yeah. There, because I so, think that monogamy lies on a scale, you know, a continuum, monogamous people on one end. Some people are just really, really monogamous mm -hmm. and they've always been that way mm -hmm. and they pretty much mate for life mm -hmm. all the way on this end. And then you've got people all along the spectrum and then on this end are super non-monogamous people. They do not want to be tied down. Mm -hmm. They like to be free and you won't see them with a partner ever. So you've got, and then so, and then everybody's sort of sprinkled along. I see bisexual, bisexuality as the same, like hetero and homosexuality is on a continuum and then everybody's sort of sprinkled along the way. It has nothing to do with the scale. They're continuum. different scales. Yeah. Boom, boom, they are not connected, they have yeah. nothing to do. You can be way over here on one and way over here on the other, or like, yeah. you can be any number of these. Yeah. And there was one that way. you saw, it was like a graph. Oh, there's a new, yeah. new Kinsey we'll scale. Find, I'll find that, I'll put a link to that in the, in the episode. So it's like a new see. advanced Kinsey scale yeah. that has 
both of those things on a graph. On a graph. So you're like a T1 or a F4. Yeah, or E1. I think I was an E1. E something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So. so check it out. Um, and respect your commitment. And respect that other people have made a commitment to no matter who they're attracted to. That's yeah. that's all it is. Yeah. yeah. Simple, simple, the simple, text talk. Simple. So ding ding ding. ding. Sex talk.